Hey YouTube, you're watching the Long Haired Little Guy. My name is Matt, and today I'm going to mix it up a little bit again. Today we're going to talk about things that your customers will not appreciate. Stay tuned. Well, it's Wednesday, it's my big day, and I took a little bit of time in the morning to sharpen my blades on all three of my mowers. I'm taking out the Time Master, I'm taking out the HRX 217, and the Gravely 34. That's what I always take out. I just don't have that much equipment to be like, oh, I'm taking this or I'm not taking that. I just take it all, all the time, except for my Pro-Line. I don't really use the Pro-Line too much. By the way, that thing's for sale if anybody's interested. Toro Pro-Line. It's a 32 inch cut, belt drive. It's got its purpose, I'll tell you that. But it doesn't suit mine anymore. So, that's for sale. But anyways, moving on, I said I was gonna talk about things that your customer will not appreciate. I'm gonna give you one, and then I'm gonna give you some footage, and then I'm gonna give you another, and then I'm gonna give you some footage. We're gonna go back and forth. See how you guys like it. See how I like it. It's gonna be more editing on my part, but we'll see what happens, right? So. What's something that your customer will not appreciate? Well, let me share with you one thing. One time a customer said, you know what, Matt? I like you a lot. You know why? Because you don't mess up my downspouts with your weed eater. One thing your customer will not appreciate is if you beat the junk out of the downspout with your trimmer. So be careful, guys, when you're trimming around those. It's going to look like a little razor blade or a little, little saw got right through those things over time. It's going to deform them. What would I do if I messed one up? Because I do. Just haven't messed this customer's up yet. You go buy yourself a new downspout. You put it on there. That's how you keep them happy, y'all. You're gonna mess up. You're gonna mess up those downspouts eventually if you cut the lawn long enough. So, you just go buy them a new one. Have I had to buy one yet? Nope, I haven't had to buy one yet, but that's what I'd do. Enjoy more footage. Number two, number two thing that your customers will not appreciate is mowing when the ground is too soft. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When you're trying to like really push your schedule and it's been raining and, and the ground is actually kind of muddy, but yet you still put your mower out there on it. Even your 21s are sinking into the ground and rutting it up. Customers don't appreciate that. Number two.
So now we're to three, right? Three things that your customer will not appreciate. That is scout marks at the mailbox, right? We've all done it, right? Especially when we first started. So this is a big tip for you uh, younger guys just starting out that are scalping at the mailbox. And every time you go, oh darn. Well, stop saying oh darn. Stop dropping your wheels off the edge of the curb, okay? Just don't do that. Just stay away from it, trim around there, okay? There's something I like to say. You trim to maximize your mowing and you mow to minimize your trimming, okay? That might make sense, I don't know, but that's how I think of it, all right? So don't don't try to be perfect with your mower because you're gonna start scalping stuff. Those devil stripes that y'all talk about, yup, mower marks on the edge, don't do it. Okay, it's time for number four. Fourth thing that your customer will not appreciate is blowing grass, particularly wet grass, onto their house or fence. It's nasty. It's nasty. What can you do about that? Well, always have your chute pointed away from the house, okay? Sometimes we like to put it wide open, just blow it everywhere. Sometimes all you got to do is just drop that little flap down so it throws all the grass down to the ground. Sometimes you got to block it completely off. Shoot blocker. Good idea, huh? Man, I don't have one of those, so I've always got to be pointed away. It still happens to me sometimes. The customer does not appreciate it. So what do I do when I do that? I get their water hose and I wash it off. Long haired little guy, don't they get mad when you use your when you use their hose to wash off their house to mess up something or to fix something that you did? Not really. I think they appreciate that because I thought, ooh, I I don't think they'd like that. I'm gonna fix that. They don't mind. They don't mind that I use a hose. They do mind that I leave grass on their house and their fence. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Hope you guys are enjoying the footage. I got one more. That's number five of the things that your customer will not appreciate. Stay tuned. Are you guys ready for uh, the featured lawn of the week? I have a couple names for this lawn. One of them is the White House. Why would I call it the White House? Well, you'd think this was the White House and how awesome this lawn looks. You'd think it was a White House staff taking care of it. Nope. It's the long-haired little guy doing it. That's who it is. But I wish I could take credit for this, but the owner does quite a bit to maintain this lawn. Now they are one of my subscribers, so I aerate, I dethatch, I seed, I do all kinds of stuff. Weekly mowing. This lawn, by the way, has to be weekly. The edges aren't too bad on this. They're cut in a little bit. Somehow I kind of messed up the edge a little bit, and uh, maybe this fall I'll go through and pack some dirt in there. But, they look great for the camera, don't they? Well, so what, what's the other name I, I call it? The Green Acre. Yep, why do I call it the Green Acre? Well, green for obvious reasons. It's crazy green. Why an acre? Because this obviously is not an acre. At least we don't think so. Haven't been back yet. Well, it's not that big. It's only about 4,000 square feet which is less than a quarter acre. That's like a half of a quarter of an acre. So it's like an eighth of an acre, right? Well, I have to mow this with the 21 because anything bigger than a 21 or a 22 <sighs> leaves those pesky mower marks. Yep. 
I mowed all kinds of different directions, did it diagonal this time. I do not do up and down. The reason why is because this is very uneven terrain here. So I get those mower marks again. Oh, no wonder I'm talking about mower marks. And we've also got the solar lamps. There's more to be talked about with them solar lamps. So maybe you guys can help me out. Maybe I need to settle on a name, right? Green Acre or the White House? What do you guys think? And that's your featured lawn of the week. Hey guys, it's lunchtime and we are having taquitos, chicken chili, and green smoothie. And the kids want green smoothie too. Which cup is yours, Caleb? I like green smoothie. Which cup is yours, this Caleb? This one's my brother's. That one's your brother's? Yeah. This one's mine. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pour you just a little bit. And then you tell me what you think, okay? Okay. Mmm. Nummy. Nummy? What's it taste like? It tastes like fruit. Like fruit? And what but else? It's raw banana. It tastes like bananas? And what else? Mm. <laughs> you got a green smoothie mustache. <laughs> Crazy kiddos, thumbs up or thumbs down? Mm. <laughs> there you go, guys. Green smoothies, it's the way to go. YouTube, what is going on? That's usually a salutation, right? Is that the beginning or the end? I don't know. Hmm. Greeting, you maybe usually a greeting. Not a greeting for me this time. It's the end of my day. And I'm done with my lawns and I worked hard today. So all I got to say really is what's going on YouTube. I hope you had a great day. I hope you made a lot of money today. And uh, you guys ready for uh, my last, you know, things your customer will not appreciate? This is probably the number one thing your customer will not appreciate or your potential customer client will not appreciate not returning the phone call probably the number one thing out of everything that I've mentioned today in this video someone has mentioned to me about a past long guy or current long guy vacay yeah I brought that up again boy I messed up on that one but I still kept the client so but it doesn't negate the fact that it's important to return your phone calls even if you can't get to it right then the customer will not appreciate not returning the phone call so that's all I got for today guys um, got a little of the kiddos in there got a little bit of footage in there for you and I got my uh, five things that your customer will not appreciate so I thank you for watching. I thank you for the new subscribers. I appreciate you. I lost a couple, but then I gained a couple. That's the way it works. I'm almost at 100, guys. Not that I'm counting. I love every one of you guys. You know, sometimes I wonder, do I want to get big? Or do I want to stay small? And sometimes I think I'd, I'd love to just stay small. I don't know how all those guys with tens of thousands of subscribers manage to comment and, and, uh, and, and read every single comment. Uh, but I try, I try, and it's hard to keep up sometimes, and not even all 80 of those people make comments. So, But anyways, I just appreciate the new subscribers, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button for subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when my videos come back out. Lord bless. Pray for me. I'll pray for you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>